Today we're building a castle, and we've stepped up this So Solid project by adding rickrack. So go to the Fat Quarter Shop free pattern page and download the pattern so we can start sewing. I'm excited to get started. Emma's going to absolutely love this quilt, and I know all the little girls in your lives will too. First, we're going to take a fabric D-square and our favorite Creative Grids ruler that of course is pink. Draw a line from corner to corner with a friction pin. We use a friction pin because it disappears with heat later. You're going to put this square on the left end of a fabric K rectangle. Stitch from corner to corner. I like to use Aurifil Color 2000. Your stitches are going to look like this and we're using black thread just so you can see our stitches. You're going to trim a quarter inch away and press. Then add another fabric D square and you're going to make two flying geese units. Now we're going to take two fabric E rectangles and a fabric R rectangle, join them, then add a flying geese and a fabric A rectangle, and we're going to make two mini tower units. Continuing on, we're going to make one large flying geese unit with fabric B squares and your fabric J rectangle, and just use the techniques we used previously. To make your middle tower unit, you're going to take two fabric V squares and put them at the top of your fabric C rectangle, stitch directly on the line, trim a quarter inch away, and press. Then you'll add two fabric U rectangles, press. Then add two fabric T rectangles and press. Make one. Now take your middle tower unit, add fabric F rectangles, and press. Then add your large flying geese and your middle tower unit is all finished. Our castle is really coming together. Join your tower units together and your top castle unit is done. Now we're going to make our top battlement unit. You're going to assemble two fabric W rectangles, five fabric L squares, and four fabric S squares. You're going to press in one direction and make one. Now we're ready to work with our rickrack, and I always love working with rickrack because it really adds a special touch to your projects. Take your rickrack and place it on the top of your fabric in rectangle. I'm putting it slightly above the fabric. Then I pin, and when you stitch, you want to stitch an eighth of an inch away from the top, and you want to use a slightly longer stitch, and if it starts buckling on you, you'll use your walking foot. You're going to make one rectangle unit. Join the two units you made previously. Use a quarter inch seam, which is going to hide the stitch you made previously on your rickrack, and press toward the top. Every castle has to have a door for its princess, so let's make one. Add two fabric M squares to your fabric Q rectangle and press. Now it's time to make the bottom of our castle unit. Add two fabric I rectangles to your door unit and press, then add your battlement unit and press. Join your top and bottom castle units and press, and just like magic, your castle is done. Now we're going to add our borders, add fabric H strips, press, add fabric G strips, and press. Now we're going to finish our pillow top by layering our block with a batting and a white backing. You're going to quilt as desired, baste an eighth of an inch in, and trim around the edges. Now let's move to our backing. Now we're going to make an envelope back. We're going to take two rectangles that are 20 and a half inches by 24 inches. On the 24 inch side, you're going to fold your rectangle in half, wrong sides together. Place your fold in the center, add your second rectangle with the fold in the center. We're going to overlap them three and a half inches. And I just use my mat as a guide. I'm going to pin these in place. Now at this point, you can stitch all the way around or you can skip that step. It's really up to you, personal preference. Take your pillow top and put it on the top and center it. You're going to see an overlap on the top and the bottom. What I do at this point is I pin all the way around the side, 
a few in the middle. Now baste all four sides with an eighth of an inch stitch. Trim your excess and add binding. Now you can see the envelope back that we've created and what's great about an envelope back is it makes the pillow easy to wash. I can't wait to see all of your castle creations that you make with our beautiful free pattern. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Fat Quarter Shop and I'll see you next time.